Hi guys, welcome back to another week, another grocery haul. Like I was saying before, each week I will kind of highlight some grocery items that it would literally take me three hours to go over like the whole grocery haul and explain everything in depth because I have a really big process as to how I eat. I mean, simply put, I try to eat as many whole foods as possible, eat prebiotic foods, incorporate probiotic, incorporate probiotics, eat gluten-free as much as possible, um, I eat dairy-free, not processed, no refined sugars, ultimately just eating essentially the way that we're meant to eat from the earth without a bunch of GMOs and additives and pesticides and herbicides, essentially just eating from the earth as much as possible and in the purest form as possible, right? Also eating a really balanced diet that not only supports your well-being, but your metabolic health. I'm really, really big into metabolic health. Metabolic health or metabolic flexibility means that you're eating foods and you're combining foods in a way that is really nutritious for your body and that you're getting all the things you need. So in a meal, having that protein, having that healthy complex carbon, having a fat, having all those things in each meal that you eat so that your body can not have a glucose spike because the more glucose spikes you have throughout the day, the more prone you are to insulin, resist insulin resistance, which leads to a variety of diseases, diabetes being just one of them, but also it leads to weight loss resistance. So a lot of people are working out and eating clean and it can't seem to lose weight and I would say that's a hundred percent because of metabolic flexibility so that's another big aim in my eating I also wore a continuous glucose monitor and shared a bit about my experiences on Instagram of what I found really really helps increase your medic metabolic health and I had the tracker so I would literally instantly be able to scan my phone and see um see how what, what foods would affect my what affect my glucose spikes and what would bring it down, what would keep it stable. So I've shared a lot of my insights on Instagram, so definitely go check that out. I do plan also wearing it again for another two weeks and testing out more foods and I have something really exciting in the works with that. So that was kind of a lot <laughs> that I went through. So some new pieces are launching on Lyf. When you're watching this, they'll probably be already launch or launching. And one of my current favorites is this. It's all black tourmaline, um, different kinds. So you can see there's like these more faceted beads and smaller beads with the clear cords. Black tourmaline is really great for protection. This is why this is called energy shield, especially when you're out around a lot of people. I've been around a lot of people the past few days. I had a performance and so I was practicing and a dress rehearsal and things like that. And I was just around so many energies and it's really inspired me to make sure I'm like just wearing this protection um, back. This is an 18 inch option. The clear quartz is also really powerful because clear quartz is an amplifier, meaning you set your custom intention and it'll work. So the black tourmaline in general will protect you against any negative energies and you can of course charge your own intention i like to say i protect it against any energies that are not mine or do not serve my highest good that way if it's my energy i can it, it i can keep it and if it's some other energy that doesn't serve my highest good even if it is my own it can be dispelled um you know like limiting beliefs and things like that and the clear quartz you can set your own custom program um and program it maybe to protect you in white light to bring in specific opportunities to protect you maybe from specific energies or to even align you to specific energies so this one is really really beautiful definitely a must especially if you're energetically sensitive i always recommend i even wear black tourmaline these are you might know by my mom, she has a crystal bracelet line called by Xenia, and these are all handmade in Reiki charge. So I have black tourmaline here with, these are Herkimer crystals, Herkimer quartz crystals, I believe. Uh, yeah, Herkimer crystals, <laughs> and then Herkimer clear quartz. And then here I, I'm wearing some more protection. I'm even wearing black today, which in general protects your energy because I've just been out about a lot and I'm just like, oof, kind of wanted to bring it back in. So this is just one of them. Also, if you've been watching the podcast full format, I've been wearing that really beautiful Labradorite with a Baroque pearl. That one will be launched as well. And then another one called Angelic or um, Angelic Guidance. That one will be launched soon. I haven't even shown that one. It's really beautiful. So if you're watching this, if it's already launched, check out the keynotes. I'll put it in the keynotes or in the description. I have not. Keep an eye out. Uh, as always, these are all designed and handmade all by my, all by me here in Los Angeles. So, you know, your order can take about a week to ship depending on how many orders I have in. So I do my best to get them out as quickly as possible. But also, like I said, they are handmade with so much love and I cleanse them for you before they're shipped and they're packaged so beautifully. So it's such an intentional process. So thank you for always supporting Lyft. Thank you for placing your orders. I'm so glad that I can make such beautiful pieces for you that are not only so aesthetically pleasing, but also give you energetic benefits and help you create and manifest in your life to the next level.
Mia got a new toy today. <laughs> it's a carrot. And so she's been wanting to play with this carrot nonstop. So I might be throwing this carrot in and during it. Also, I'm really passionate about pet health. Obviously, I'm passionate about my own health. I care about my pet's health as well. I'm quite well researched, mostly a lot due to my mom. She is very well versed in pet nutrition beyond beyond obviously some basics to go by the less ingredients the better when you're buying treats you don't want it to have a bunch of additives right buying things that are just like plain freeze dried or just plain like for example buying just just beef right like just um like, like organic or non-gmo beef or chicken like brisket right like things like that are like obviously going to be the cleanest without additives any like really fancy treats like check the ingredients that they don't have a bunch of stuff in them right if there's ingredients you can't name or you don't know what they are or they're really long formats obviously you can google but the more simple the ingredients are the better it is for your animal and i also like to supplement certain things for them like some probiotics and things like that but today i also picked up some new oil for them i picked up this i use I used to use the Just For Dogs oil, and I have really mixed feelings about Just Food For Dogs. Some of their treats are good, like the venison, the beef brisket, the chicken, but their food, they dilute with rice, obviously to make it more expen less expensive. Otherwise, it would be really expensive if it was just pure meat. So although, of course, yes, it is a cleaner option than kibble, it's still not ideal to be having your animal eat that much rice. I mean, think about it. Dogs in the wild were not eating fucking rice you know i get why they do that because they want to keep you know this like clean image and rice makes their stuff way more affordable otherwise it'd be, it'd be I mean, the prices would be way more if it was just pure clean meat just like if you're buying meat for humans imagine you're buying that for your dog i know a lot of people feed their dog a raw diet and if you are know how to properly balance it's really really great if you're like big nuts and seeds and berries and you're doing that and if people do that that's amazing um, but obviously that's also an investment and you need to know what kind of meats work well for your breed and like it gets pretty specific so i anyway i have really mixed feelings about just food for dogs i'd only recommend their treats not even like the and not even the pumpkin ones those have some fillers or some uh, not the best stuff in there so just like the pure stuff like beef brisket venison chicken things like that um i used to use their fish oil but it's in a plastic bottle which again <laughs> isn't the best so i saw this at healthy spot i really recommend shopping at healthy spot i'm not sponsored by them at all i wish and healthy spot if you want to sponsor me um their stuff is they're very they have a pretty strict audit of what they'll have in their store and i can't speak for everything but i would say most of the stuff i've seen in there is really really amazing quality and they vet only the top brands so if you're like don't know where to start don't shop at like main <laughs> pet stores unless you really know what you're looking for of course if you know what you're looking for you can still find good things like they sell like origin is a really great brand o-r-i-j-e-n they have cat and dog stuff i love their treats like the freeze dry treats like the tundra treats for mia and the treats the cat treats for coco um so that's that they sell at petco i believe they probably yeah they sell at petco i don't know if they sell that pet smart but if you want like to like go to a spot where you feel more safe purchasing that the items are more likely than not going to be healthy definitely check out healthy spot so i got them some salmon oil it's really important to give your animals some an omega oil for so many reasons. It's going to help them with their fur and their coat. It's going to help them with any skin and itchiness. It's also going to be anti-inflammatory. It's going to give them joint support. Just like for humans, it's also really great for their brain. It has DHA in it. It's just like same thing as for humans. It's amazing to take for our health benefits. It's going to give your animal those same benefits. Cat and dog, I really suggest. This is an amazing brand. Um, it's just called, oh, let me grab it really quick. Okay, it's just called, it looks like this. It's called Iceland Pure, the clean power of nature. And this is the salmon oil. So they have, I guess, a few different kinds. You can see oils. They'll have a checkbox on what kind it is. 70 ounces, so it's really big. So it just says, like, all the benefits of it here. I can put this here if you want to just pause the video and read it. Really recommend this. I love it. It has a pump as well. I just gave them some, so... There are both small, they have the feeding guidelines, but essentially if your dog or cat is under 35 pounds, um, you give them like around one teaspoon. I mean, you can look at the feeding, feed, feeding instructions as well. It's also kept in this really nice metal container. It has a pump. Really recommend giving this to your animals. Like genuinely, you'll see such an improvement. First of all, making sure 
that you're they're not eating kibble. I know people get really triggered because people don't want to be wrong and no one wants to think that they're doing wrong by their pet, but it's just like eating processed foods for a human. If you're eating stuff out of the freezer section of the grocery store from this like from the aisle section and just eating and eating that day in and day out, it would be really, really bad for you. And some people, a lot of people, animals get sick and they don't know why. And it's like if they're eating really bad food and yes, a lot of this food is vet recommended because they're also no offense, but that's what they're taught or some I feel like a little bit brainwashed in school and sponsored by those brands that you should not be having like that canine pure whatever so full of so much shit and that I'm really really passionate about dog health because and cat health because I'm seeing a lot of health issues in my my family cats and I've just seen it in friends and family people I know and I also seen improvements when people feed their animals properly so I know you love your animal, I'm sure you do. And so if you really, if you want them to be the healthiest, I really encourage you. A really great, easy, healthy food for your dog is Fresh Pet. I really recommend them. I think they're amazing. Um, so they are so mass produced now. So really look at the food because I've seen sometimes the food be a little bit gray, which means usually there's a production issue or like the packet wasn't sealed. It should be like a pinky brown color. So just look out for that with Fresh Pet to make sure it's, your food's never gray. That's a really great option. Uh, there's a lot of other like in healthy spot they have a lot of frozen foods which is like really if you un you basically unfreeze them and give them to your pet uh, that's pretty like fresh just like raw stuff it's really great definitely talk to the people at healthy spot most of them at mine are pretty knowledgeable do your own research of course like do your own research this is just what will work for me and what I've seen but I'd really recommend getting your animals on some fresh food right a live food and also supplementation so not feeding them kibble essentially i really 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 recommend i know it's easy you just put it in the bowl and you leave but like when if they're when they're, when, if, when they're gonna be sick if they're gonna be sick you know you know, it's good you're gonna pay for that later so i would just really suggest being mindful of that now a lot of people ask me about pet health so i just like to give some recommendation and some other stuff this is like an allergy little tincture mia our, it's so crazy the air we've just got like a really i think i talked about a really nice air purifier we are loving it i'll see if i can find like a coupon link for you guys you don't even bring a toy um it's called air doctor so i think there's a link that it gives you like a huge chunk off so i'm gonna see if i can find it and put it in, down below for you like it literally gives you like the 600 dollar one for like 300 something really huge difference i've seen but i have al had allergies or really bad reaction to air we have so much dust in california like you will literally vacuum and the next day it'll be a few days like clunks of dust like you'll vacuum you know we have a regular vacuum a robot vacuum dust so like i'm first of all we're so on it now with cleaning i just got like another mop more non-toxic cleaning supplies like i'm on it with cleaning because i've had really bad allergies um and just like reactions to i know it's the dust intuitively as well and mia has too and so I wanted something to help support that. So this is the Earth Animal. I haven't tried this yet. I have had seen really good reviews, so I'll let you know. It's the Organic Earth Animal Allergy and Skin Daily Allergen Protection. So just an all-natural tincture. I'm going to try just giving her a tiny, tiny bit um, and see how it is. You only need like a few drops. Like So this will last a long time. Also, this is just to clean out an ear rinse. Um, it's Mia had an ear infection, which is usually stemmed by, again, environmental things like food or allergies. And I know it's from the dust in our home because it's been affecting me so much. Now it's way better, thankfully, to the air purifier. And like we ordered all this, we're way more on top of it with the dust stuff now moving forward. Um, but I was giving her the medicine in the ears and it got a little bit on her ears. So I just got this antimicrobial veteracin plus just ear wash. I in general don't really want to get too much in their ears, especially with little dogs because moisture is really not great in their ears. As you know, it can form bacteria, but this one's antimicrobial and just to clean like with a cotton swab, just the outside really quick, just to get some of that medicine off, I picked this up. So again, I haven't tried this yet, but I trusted that they had a healthy spot for ear. So what I want to highlight in this week's grocery haul is first organic hemp hearts. Also, they have an orange version of this and a green version. I thought all both of them were organic, and I by accident grabbed the orange bag. Heads up, the orange bag isn't organic. It's, I don't know. I don't know why they do both. I guess. I mean, I guess I kind of know why, but I just assumed that everything from this brand was organic. But the green bag is organic. This is so great. It's going to give you a healthy omega three, six, and nine. Sorry, it's just in three and six, not nine. Three and six, and it's going to give you protein. I love putting this in oatmeal. Super easy. If you want to get some seeds and nuts and things into your day you don't know where to put them of course nuts you can usually incorporate into your lunch and dinner but just putting them into your oatmeal i love 
So these are gonna give you 10 grams of protein, like I said, 12 grams of omega-3 and sixes um, with three tablespoons. So this is so, so good to have. I really recommend incorporating this into your diet to get those healthy omegas again into your food. This is, I've been seed cycling. I made a whole Instagram post if you wanna find out what that is. Essentially you take different seeds for different times of your cycle. Um, so yeah, I made an Instagram post, so just go to my Instagram, there's a reel, it says seed cycling, and it'll, it'll explain it, but I needed some pumpkin seeds, I ran out of those, and I'm going to be back on that part of my cycle soon, so I needed pumpkin seeds, also chia seeds are really, really great for fiber, same thing, I put these in my oatmeal, I love, like, if you're looking for a way to put, get those nutrients and get it in, in your breakfast, A, it's going to be amazing, it's going to get your day started with all these nutrients that are going to begin working throughout your body throughout the day, which is really great, again, Really good to be digesting during the day and not when you're sleeping, of course. So this is another, another plus. But also just throwing them in your oatmeal makes it like a guaranteed easy way. I haven't put my nuts in my oatmeal. Some people might not like the taste of like seeds in their, sorry, but seeds in their oatmeal. But I put my seeds in my oatmeal, my seeds in my oatmeal too. I don't mind. <laughs> um, I also don't really mind. I like enjoy herbal things and things that taste like grass. Like I can drink really green, green juices and it usually doesn't really bother me too much. So keep that in mind. But Want to highlight chia seeds again just some really easy ways when you're in this in the you know in that section with like different powders and stuff of how to get some extra nutrients into your food grab those chia seeds grab those hemp seeds grab some pumpkin seeds some sesame seeds again unsalted and stuff grab some sunflower seeds grab some flax seeds those are going to give you so many different nutrients and just putting them like i said in your in your bowl in the morning is just going to really super power your day and definitely check out that instagram post if you want to know what seeds to take when I made a whole post about it because I find it really powerful. I've just been doing it for like not even one full cycle yet, but I really enjoy it. It's so simple, but I want to highlight carrots. Eating two carrots a daily is going to help you flush your estrogen. Um, a lot of women are estrogen dominant. I believe the statistics say that 70% or more, I believe. Don't come me that, but I want to say uh, women are estrogen dominant. Oftentimes, it just means that your estrogen isn't being flushed out properly or as quickly or as smoothly. So something you can do to help flush it out is have carrots. Also, carrots or, or veggies are really good to have at the beginning of your meal. So when eating your food, you do want to stack your food in this order. So like, let's say a veggie or a fiber, then that protein, then that complex carb, then that fat, and then if there's a starch and then a sugar. That's kind of the order. You can replay that and write that down in your notes. I know when I first learned about it, I just had to like kind of write it down and think about it, but then it becomes very automatic. So essentially eating, the, eating one carrot before your lunch and one carrot before your dinner, just snacking on it is a really easy way. I'm like a little bunny, so I can just, but if you don't like to eat it like that, you can of course chop it up and you can even maybe like season it if you want. I just kind of like to eat it raw. I prefer to eat it raw, so just cut it up and eat it. I mean, I don't know. I feel like you can, you can eat a carrot. <laughs> You'll be fine. Another product highlight. I am going to say I don't like that these are not organic, so I'm just going to be honest with you. They are non-GMO. They are gluten-free. Again, I don't know if they're glyphosate-free because they don't have the verifications. So that is a concern for me at times. But if I wanted to mention these, if, if you're very, if you have a very busy morning, thankfully, like I in the morning can kind of take my time making my oatmeal bowl and eating it. But I know some people, they really have to rush out the door. So if you ever have those days where you really need to rush out the door and you want something to eat, and oatmeal is really, really great. These are mush, these are like overnight oats, and this is a coffee coconut flavor. I love coffee, I love coconut, so this is a jam for me. So what you can do if you have like not much time one morning or most mornings, grab one of these get grab your have like two have the seeds that you're seed cycling out just like the bags and literally just grab the bag so let's say it's the first half and you're having your sunflower seeds and sorry your pumpkin seeds and your flax seeds grab those packs grab those packages grab your thing if you need to eat it in the car eat it at home quickly have the tablespoons of each seed and run and you're going to get your nutrients at least you're going to get that nutrients from the oatmeal you're gonna get some nutrients from the seeds. It's just gonna be a quicker way. You can also grab those chia seeds. Also, you could just scoop it out into a bowl and then add your hemp parts, your chia seeds, and the other seeds you might be doing for seed cycling to make it really quick breakfast. So I just wanted to hide this, especially for those that maybe your mom, maybe you're just in school, maybe you're working and you just like don't have the time some mornings. Just I wanted to highlight this product for that reason. The product is it's really great to have sea salt flakes. Um, we obviously Himalayan salt is also amazing and we love Himalayan salt really great we have that it's delicious we love her but having why did this peel off like this having sea salt flakes is amazing these look really great these are the Falk salt they said passion for salt since 1928 um, natural finishing salt carefully crumble the delicate flakes to add a pinch of refinement to any dish 
So these are, this is produced in Cyprus with salt from the Mediterranean Sea. So a big misconception that salt's bad for you and depends what kind of salt you're having. So my salt recommendations are going to be sea salt flakes. Make sure they're clean, make sure where they're producing everything. Of course, Himalayan salt, pink Himalayan salt. Salt is actually really great for you. People think, oh, sodium is going to make you bloated. Just having good quality salt is actually really great. It's going to actually help you keep you hydrated. I know people put like some sea salt flakes in their water in the morning, I believe. I don't do that until I look more into it, but I know that's something people do as well. So the salt does not supply iodine as their nutrients. So definitely look into grabbing some of the salt. If something different, Himalayan and sea salt flakes are good options. Next, this is just like something I love. It's like just a favorite. And it's probably not like... This is not going to be like the most clean thing, but it's something I love adding. It is plant-based smoked Gouda. I love this cheese. I discovered this cheese two years ago. My life changed. I would literally just like bite pieces, like cut it and eat pieces or bite pieces off of it. It's so delicious. It's the Miyoko's Creamery brand. This is their limited edition. It's interesting because I kept seeing it like leave and come back. So this is made with organic cashew milk, cultured plant milk cheese, smoked gouda, just on the side of a bowl. So delicious on your lunch and your dinner. If you're like a cheese lover, or you are a cheese lover, and maybe you're not having dairy now, or even if you are, this is such an amazing way to get that like cheese craving. I love, I still love smoked cheese. Like I loved smoked cheese, you guys. So if you also were a smoked cheese lover, definitely try this brand. So this is, this one's hard to find. Like they'd be gone for a little bit and then be back and then be gone. So when she's back, we pick her up. But this is what it looks like essentially. And the final thing I want to highlight is this really amazing noodles. Great to incorporate in so many ways. This is the organic Jade Pearl Rice Ramen. It's gluten-free, not GMO. Ready in four minutes for noodle cakes. This is so great. Of course, if you want to make a soup, then this is a really great option. You could put these in your soup. We usually just cook them and add them with like veggies and other things like this, some veggies and a, you know, and a, um, and an avocado. I guess I need to check how, how much protein this would have essentially as well. Not, not much, but so you need something else for protein. But this is really, really delicious to have. You have more of a carb. <laughs> but if you had like tempeh or like some fish, this some, and some veggies on the side, and then uh, an avocado, that would be a really nice balanced meal. These are delicious and also gluten free. When going for noodles, I aim for gluten free noodles. There's so many good options. I really enjoy this brand. It's also organic. It's called Lotus Foods. So when you're in your grocery store, look for these really, really great options. So this is a much longer haul than normal, um, but I just really want to highlight some special foods that you can look out for. And I really want to talk about pet health for a little, not only because I'm so passionate about it, but I know that you will see really major shifts and changes in your animals when changing their diet to a much cleaner, more nourishing diet. Of course, like you love your animal and you want the best for them. Sometimes we just don't know. Like I look back to like five years ago and even when I was feeding Coco and I thought I was getting like this clean organic kibble and I looked back and it was so lackluster. For cats, some, a brand that I really like is called Tiki After Dark. They're like these broth with like chicken and they have like um, some like egg in some of them. It's like a, it's a specific kind of egg, I forgot. Um, but quail's it's quail's egg. egg. Yeah, they have quail's egg. They're really delicious. So Tiki After Dark is a really, really great brand. Another great brand is Feline Natural, both for cat and dog. So just some brands if you want to just look, look into it. For cats and dogs, I really like Feline Natural. There's also a brand that does like freeze dried nuggets. I'll have to, if someone can remind me, I'll post it on my Instagram story. Or maybe I can make even a reel about some of my favorite pet food brands. Again, I also really like Origin. I like Tiki, but specific ones that all of them, in my opinion, are super clean. Uh, we like the, at the moment, the three ingredient mm -hmm. pots were pretty good, but my favorite are the Tiki After Dark, no, no, Tiki After Dark, non-GMO. I used to like applause, but they started adding a bunch of added ingredients, so they really changed the formula. Um, my husband's playing with me, <laughs> and so, yeah, there, th those are just some of the kind of off the top of my head, and I just, yeah, I really do want the best for animals, and if I would have heard this information five years ago, it would have been really life-changing and beneficial for me, so I'm just sharing this because I know how much it can help you and your pet's health, not only now, but just down the line, something really great. So I hope you enjoyed today's grocery haul. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you are new, then definitely subscribe if you haven't been around here before. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video, which will probably be a full length podcast episode. Again, if you wanna check out all the new pieces that are launched on Lyft, I'll put a link in the description down below. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video and on my Instagram. Goodbye.